Weather extremes, which scientists believe are associated with climate change, continue to make headlines. While science excels at marshalling the facts of climate change, can it also help with the practical problems of responding to climate change? Carnegie scientist Ken Caldera has brought a scientific analysis to questions of climate management in the case of solar geoengineering. Solar geoengineering is a proposed approach to reduce the effects of climate change due to greenhouse gases by deflecting some of the sun's incoming radiation. This type of proposed solution carries with it a number of uncertainties, however, including geopolitical questions about who would be in charge of the activity and its goals. Carbon dioxide emissions from the burning of coal, oil, and gas have been increasing over the past decades, causing the Earth to get hotter and hotter. Large volcanic eruptions cool the planet by creating lots of small particles in the stratosphere, but the particles fall out within a couple of years and the planet heats up again. The idea behind solar geoengineering is to constantly replenish a layer of small particles in the stratosphere, mimicking this volcanic aftermath and scattering sunlight back to space. Attempts to form coalitions to reduce greenhouse gas emissions have repeatedly hit the wall because it's difficult to get everybody to participate in a substantive and meaningful way. Members of coalitions to reduce emissions have incentives to include more countries, but countries have incentives not to participate so as to avoid costs associated with emission reduction while benefiting from reductions made elsewhere. But new modeling work incorporating a game theoretic model developed by Carnegie's Catherine Rick, Ken Caldera, and their colleague Juan Marino Cruz from the Georgia Institute of Technology showed that when it comes to geoengineering, the opposite is true. Smaller coalitions will be more desirable to the participants, not less, because those members could set the target temperature to their liking without having to please as many parties. Likewise, countries that aren't included in the coalition would actually want to join so that they could move the thermostat, so to speak, in the direction that better suits their interest. Since the costs of geoengineering are so much lower than mitigation, once a coalition is formed and has successfully implemented geoengineering, it would have an incentive to exclude permanently other willing participants. Caldera maintains that, aside from any technical result, there should be a central goal to maintain openness and inclusiveness in geoengineering coalitions so that all people who want a voice in the decision-making process are able to have that voice. The work is published by Environmental Research Letters and is available online. With the independence for nimble pursuit, Carnegie scientists tackle some of the most profound challenges in modern science, fundamentally changing what's possible for us, our planet, and our universe.